Welcome back to the Joe Effect. So today, I actually want to share something with you guys. So as you know, I've been talking about how I thought, well, that I gained several pounds. Well, I went to the doctor on Monday because I've been having this issue since the holidays where my feet and my legs kept swelling up. Now, I do have high blood pressure, but I've never had this issue because I take medicine and I'm pretty much on top of it and I don't really have issues with that stuff. But it's been blowing up so bad, it's been hurting, and when I go to sleep and lay down, they go down. But when I get back up the next day, a little um, throughout the day, my legs will start to blow up again, so I got concerned. So I was scheduled for a nuclear stress test. That's basically where you get injected with some fluids to take a stress test to see how strong your heart is. That was for Tuesday. So Monday I called my primary care doctor, or some people call it your GP, and I went in to see him, and he told me that I was retaining a lot of water and that I've gained a lot of water weight. So that right there eased my mind in something where I thought, like, how the heck am I gaining so much weight so fast? Like, what is wrong with me, you know? So ever since I've gotten the new medication and I've been taking it and the water's been releasing, so sorry to say this, but I've been peeing like a racehorse. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, so I went to the doctor again yesterday on Wednesday, and I've lost four pounds, so that's a clear indication that I have retained a whole lot of water weight, and I've researched it, and you can like gain like 20, 30 pounds of water weight. So that's making me feel a little more at ease, but I'm still continuing with what I'm doing. So I couldn't get the nuclear stress test. I have to wait another two weeks in order to see what's going to happen as far as those new medicines working and my levels of sodium going down. So that's good news. Today I wanted to talk about one of my friends that I've met through social media, she is someone who has some um, slight health issues. I think she's a diabetic. She has high insulin retention, but she works out. She's helped me a lot. She's given me a lot of advice. Her name is Deirdre. On YouTube, you can YouTube her as Deirdre Fit. She is wonderful. She's a sweetheart. She's pure, genuine. Like She's just one of those people that she can give you advice and if you tell her about how you feel about that advice she's not going to make you feel like well you should be taking my advice because i know better you know i know people like that she's definitely not like that she's she's great so she's been talking about clean eating and meal prepping and those are two big things for me like what exactly is clean eating i like what she said clean eating is taking the time to consciously think about what you're eating. You know, life gets busy and things happen, but you got to try your best to, to eat more fresh foods, more um, foods that are not fatty and lean proteins and things like that. And just try to take the time to think about what you're eating instead of just shoveling it in or getting whatever's the most convenient and easy. But let me tell you something. Certain foods, like if you want to make healthier items, um, they're easy to make too. You know, shrimp is extremely easy to cook. The thin, lean, skinless, boneless chicken cutlets are so easy to cook. Um, vegetables, throw them either in a steamer or I would love to roast my vegetables. It's outrageous. I love roasting my vegetables. Brussels sprouts, broccoli. Um, carrots, string beans, um, asparagus, cauliflower. Like, I love these vegetables. You chop them up, try to get them around the same size. Just a little olive, extra virgin olive oil on it or avocado oil or some coconut oil. Whatever healthy fat oils that you do have. No canola oil, no corn oil, none of that stuff. That's, that's not healthy for you at all um 
a small amount of salt and pepper, some garlic, maybe a little lemon zest, a little lemon juice, onion powder. I like to put fresh chopped little pieces of onions on the roasting pan. Don't put them close to each other. Let them give them a little room to breathe. Make sure the pan is not too thick because it steams. And if they're too close together or too bunched up, they steam. You want them to roast. Put the oven on for 450, 20, 30 minutes. Let them bad boys go. Take them out. You're done. You got vegetables for the next three, four days. Um, marinate your chickens like I did the other day with a little spicy mustard, a little extra virgin olive oil, some... Um, just some fresh Italian seasonings, things like that. Parsley, oregano, and garlic. Let it marinate for a little while. Let it sit out for a half an hour before you cook it to let everything, you know, get all good. <laughs> and just throw it in an oven or on a, uh, like a skillet, like a flat top. That's what I did. No frying. No frying. Um, yeah, so... I have that prepared for the next four days. I might try to add a picture in here if I can figure it out to show you what it looks like. This is the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, and the chicken that I made for dinner last night for the next four days. And it was delicious last night. And another thing is I've learned that it's good to eat slower, not so fast. So in total in the past two weeks, it's nine pounds lost, mostly water weight I believe. But I think I'm doing good. So I want to share with you my breakfast this morning. These Chobani, can you see it? Chobani 100 calorie yogurts. It's um, only natural non-GMO ingredients. This one is mixed berry crumble. Mixed berry non-fat Greek yogurt with brown sugar crumble, roasted almonds, and dried cranberries. These are delicious. A lot of people tell me, oh, yogurt's not that great for you. Eat non-fat, plain yogurt. Listen. You do what works for you. I do not like non-flavored, plain Greek yogurt. That's my opinion. Yuck. I can't do it. I like these. There's some with uh, 100 calories that's like cherry with a little chocolate sauce. Now these, it might sound like, oh, that's bad chocolate sauce and things like that. It's not really bad. It's 100 calories. There's not a lot else bad, you know, things going on in it. Um... Like I said, 100 calories, 2 grams of fat, um, 5 milligrams of cholesterol, 160 milligrams of potassium, 75 milligrams of sodium, 15 carbs. You know, and for me, I'm allowed to have 30 carbs per meal. With that, I'm having 6 cut up strawberries. I like to cut them up because then it makes me feel like, you know, I'm eating more. For me, like I talked to my aunt the other day. I always had a problem with wanting more on a plate, like wanting to fill up my plate. So what I'm doing is making a little bit go further by making it seem like it's more. You know what I mean? So I'll either put stuff on a smaller plate and make me feel like I'm eating a lot more. Just take my time. Enjoy my food, not scarf it down. So that's really it for me. Gonna enjoy my water, my yogurt, and my strawberries. Take my time eating it edit this video and sound off guys let me know what you feel about meal prepping you know on Facebook I put a, a post about meal prepping do you prefer to meal prep or cook daily for me if I meal prep for a few days not a lot of days do it like for three or four days that way I'm not looking in that refrigerator and I'm like ooh, look at all these different things I can be making this or that uh-uh if I have my food already made guess what I'm eating healthier options because it's right there for me plus for me I have six of the family members that I cook for daily. And nine times out of ten, they don't want no baked chicken breast with cauliflower and broccoli and some brown rice. So you have to do what's good for you and your lifestyle. Just try to make more conscious, better decisions. And that's what I'm trying to do. I love you guys. Thank you for always tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Get other people on board. Let's do this together. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend.